Now, uh, did you know a little bit about superconductors? A little bit. Okay. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> that's, the, that's the reason we, we sell these kids that to educate the family. Yeah. You know? It's a very important phenomenon that no, not many people know. So, superconductors have, have three uh, major properties. The two uh, famous ones is zero electrical resistance, which is superconductors, no energy loss, below a certain temperature. And the second one is the Meissner effect, or repelling magnetic fields. They don't like magnetic fields. But this is not what's happening here. There is a third effect that we, uh, this is the first demonstration that shows it, which is called quantum trapping. Basically what it says is that superconductivity and magnetism doesn't like each other. And when you force the magnetic field inside the superconductor, it holds the magnetic field and prevents it from moving around. Just stay the same. It doesn't move around here. Don't interfere with me. So, when I cool the superconductor, and the superconductor is this, and this, oh, is, okay. a, this is a sapphire, which is a, it's like uh, glass. It's, it doesn't have any interesting uh, effects. And we coat it with a very, very thin layer of superconductor. One micron thin hmm. layer. And this is what makes all these effects. One micron. And we put just a regular sponge on top of it just to keep it cool. Oh, it's a sponge. A sponge, okay. yeah. It's, it's not uh, okay. nothing special. And when we place it on top of a magnet, look what happens. That is wrong. It locks, it locks, oh yeah, it just turned up the, the plastic wrap, but it doesn't matter. It just locks the magnetic field inside. And now you can place it in whatever configuration you like because there's only locking. There's no magnetic levitation, no, nothing. Just locking. You see, I can place it like this, ah. or like wow. this, or like this. <laughs> and you can so cool. try to move it yeah. around very briefly because it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, yeah and you, see the re you feel the resistance. Feel it? Yeah. Mm. So wow. this is the locking, or the pinning, we call it as physicists. We call this magnetic pinning. And if I do this, do this on the circular magnet, because there is a symmetry, as long as it rotates in this uh, axis, the magnetic field doesn't change, so the pinning isn't broken. So we can rotate freely around the magnet, because the pinning isn't broken here. The magnetic field stays the same inside the material. And remember, it's the Magnet, the magnet which is circular, not the film. If I put it on the side, it will just rotate like this mm. around the axis of the magnet. Jeez. Okay. Now I can do this on this magnetic rail because the magnet, the, the magnetic field on the rail is the same. It will move freely only along the rail and no other directions. I place it at a certain height and it just move freely because the uh. pinning isn't broken. The trapping isn't broken along the rail. Now, this is not, again, this is not anything magnetic. This is not magnetic repulsion. So I can do this upside down. I can just place it in the magnetic field and just <laughs> move it around. OK? It stays the same. Now, because the disks are not magnetic, so they won't interfere with each other. If I put two of them, one on top of the other, on the other, for example, they can just rotate freely without interfering with each other because they are not magnetic. If they were magnetic, they would interfere right. with each other. Yeah. That is bizarre. That is awesome. That's okay, correct. So it got warm. See, after a few minutes of explanation, it got warm. Now, don't be uh, embarrassed if you don't have any uh, intuition or any clue about this because this is a quantum phenomenon. This is the only quantum phenomenon we can really see and touch in a microscopic uh, level. A few centimeters size. So uh, this is superconductivity, which is, has no classical explanation. You really have to have uh, uh, quantum physics to understand and to explain how this material behaves. No, this is, this, so it, it, it's the same, the same rail, which is only uh, linear and portable, so I can show you that I can do it like this. So the same thing. No, these are just magnets, and the superconductor here is here. Yeah, it's, it's only the disk. 
actually it's even not the disc, it's a very thin coating on top of the disc. It's a one micron thick layer which is superconducting. And this one micron thick layer holds all this weight. You know, the liquid nitrogen and the, the sapphire, it holds a lot of weight. It's a very strong effect. Yeah, this is coated with gold just for protection. So you'll see that when he tries to uh, rotate it, it will just heat up very quickly. So, and you have to keep it cold for yeah. reasons. Yeah, Be because because superconductivity is only triggered by uh, low temperature. And the temperature destroys superconductivity, it's competing with it. So only below a certain temperature it becomes superconductive. It's like it's a transition. See, and it warm up. So but this is what makes the effect. Only the disc. Oh, 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 okay. Mm. So the sponge is the sponge is just used to just hold on to the yeah, just a blanket. liquid nitrogen to keep it yeah. okay, okay. Just yeah. later to So is that so for maglev and wind turbines and things like that is there there's some insulation yeah you have to have some insulation and cooling yeah. right so it's yeah. always super cold yeah always and it's always yeah. insulated yeah uh, but but you know that uh, every mri machine every mri machine in the world has a superconducting coil inside of it every what machine every mri yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. okay presence. okay so, yeah so because you need very strong magnetic field and you can only achieve strong magnetic fields with superconductors because they have no resistance so you can drive large amounts of current without the the, the, the wires heating up so <laughs> currently today they use helium to cool the MRI machines that's why the MRI are giant are enormous they're very expensive but here we show superconductors that are being cooled by liquid nitrogen which is very cheap very uh, available yeah. yeah so our next step which is a little long term is to make wires out of it this is what we're working on uh, on the long term. We want to make wires out of these uh, superconductors. Thank you. Wow. You're welcome. So if we want to have an exhibit in our science center, uh, and, and, uh, a miniature uh, maglev train for kids, can we do that? Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> I mean, we saw how this how can I say no? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've never been a maglev kitty train. <laughs>